What is going on everybody? 9to5Gamers here and uh, today I wanted to go over my deck build. Um, I posted it in the Facebook community about a Captain America protection deck and um, so I want to go through it real quick, kind of tell you guys about the deck and um, uh, what it's been capable of doing. So first of all, uh, Captain America, if you guys don't already know, is an amazing character. He has a shield that gives him plus one defense um and so he's defending for three um he has living legend which reduces um the cost of every ally you play each round by one so automatically every the first ally you play is reduced uh by one so you're talking about playing uh people like iron heart for one or people that are four cost are costing three so this is a really good ability um on this side and then on his other side he uh, thwarts for two attacks for two defense for two but again we have cards in this deck his shield and also armored vest that bring him up to four defense which is really really good and he has retaliate one with the shield plus he has i can do this all day which if you discard a card from your hand you can ready captain america once per round um so you can literally thwart for two discard a card ready him thwart for another two so he's thwarting for four and if you use some of the cards in his kit um, including um, like cards like Fearless Determination, which lets him draw a card, and then he gets plus one Thwart uh, to the end of the phase. Um, and then you Thwart with him, ready, and then Thwart again. You're Thwarting for six uh, per turn, which is super, super good. Very underrated. Um, but um, he's got a lot of interesting things. He can block damage with Shield Block. He's got Agent 13, who takes off two threat when she comes into play. Um, and then, um, but the main focus of this deck um, including Super Soldier Serum and a whole bunch of other good cards. There's so many good cards in this deck, but this is the main focus right here. We're looking at Heroic Strike. Uh, deal six damage to an enemy, and then if you paid for it with a physical resource, which honestly is going to be bound to happening because he has a lot of physical resources, you stun that enemy. Um, not to mention that his uh, serums generate a physical resource. So if you just use a serum when paying for Heroic Strike, you get the bonus of stunning the character. But this is the main goal of the deck, and I wanted to explain that before I jump too far in. I have played every villain on Expert. Um, I have legitimately every single character, every single hero, every uh, villain uh, pack. I played them all on Expert um, with this deck. I won every single game. I did not lose a single time, and I want to say 90% of the villains, I beat them at full health without even taking a single damage. The reason that that was possible was because this deck is a stun lock deck. Um, and the reason why uh, we went that route is because it was honestly on accident. I just wanted to make a, a, a protection deck work. Like I really wanted a protection deck. And so I thought, you know, Captain America, he can, he can defend... And then on the next turn, I can just pay a, a resource, or not a resource, I can pay a card to ready him up after he defends. So it's kind of like a Quicksilver thing going on, although Quicksilver does that a lot better. So I was like, you know what, let me build a deck. So started off with the basics. You've got your uh, double resources, standard Quinn Carrier, which is really good because it exhausts to generate a wild resource. I'm going to get into why that's important later. Um, standard Avengers Mansion, uh, standard endurance. Everybody needs plus three health. I don't care which character it is. Um, and then your these I think are just standard, basic um, uh, allies. Nick Fury, he's great in every single deck. Yeah, he's expensive, but his abilities are great. Um, also, let me apologize. It is allergy season, so like if I sound nasally or if I sound like I'm, you know, like sniffing, it's because my allergies are going crazy, even with um, allergy pills. But anyways, Mockingbird, what does she do? Enters play, stun. This is another great card. Um, I'm actually going to put her to the side so we can talk about her in a second. And Ironheart is standard now. She's a Maria Hill, not as good because she can't thwart for two. Um, and she doesn't give a card to other people, but this deck is mainly for solo play. Can you play this deck in multiplayer? Probably. Not exactly sure, because I'm a lonely boy. Lonely. Um, the, uh, lonely. I'm Mr. Lonely. Right, that song? So, I am. I'm, I, I only play by myself mainly, and sometimes I'll play two-handed, but I haven't really got to t test it in multiplayer, because I just 
my wife hates playing this game, so I know it's okay. Um, so anyways, that's your standard cards. And then, of course, you have your protection cards. Power of protection. Um, some decks choose to opt out for playing these. Some people ask me, why do you play two power of protection? Do you like these? Yeah, absolutely I do, especially with this deck because everything's so expensive in protection. Um, I mean, almost every ally is three cost or higher. Um, and so this right here, especially with his ability Living Legend, this can get you a... Um, this can get you basically an ally in play for one or two uh, cost, right? So like if you wanted to play Warlock, um, he comes in for one card. So two of those. And then um, the next one is Clea. Uh, Clea, I put her in because she's a cheap ally and she could take a hit just in case you need to stall a turn. That's why she's in the deck. Warlock. He's in the turn. Um, he's in here because he can thwart for one and attack for one. He takes care of toughs really well. He takes care of schemes. Um, and um, especially since most in solo, most of the people only put one, one threat on per turn. He helps out by just getting rid of that threat every single turn. Um, and he's really good. But he's part of a trio of characters that we're going to put off to the side as well that are very, very good. So these in the center are just kind of like your base cards. Black Widow, she can cancel any encounter card, right? When a card is revealed from the encounter deck, exhaust Black Wid Widow and spend a mental resource and cancel the effect of that card and discard it, then reveal another card from the encounter deck. So because it says when a card is revealed, it's not talking about boost cards, it's talking about um, just encounter cards. But again, let's say that the villain, um, the encounter deck, they pull out Shadows of the Past. If you don't wanna deal with Shadows of the Past, you pay a mental resource and then cancel it. Um, big, a big buffy minion, a big buff minion with tough, and I just can't deal with him right now. Cancel him with Black Widow. She cancels everything, so she's really good. She is part of this little trio down here that I'm going to show you in a second. Brother Voodoo, he's very important to the deck because he can search the top five cards of your deck for an event card and then shuffle it back in, and then shuffle the rest of it. Put it in your hand and then shuffle your deck. He is a good part of the, the strategy here. He's actually gonna go up here. And then um, Nova, he's part of the trio down here. Nova basically, he can attack for two, Thort for one, but his real ability is that if you spend a lightning resource, you can deal two damage to an enemy. So every time the enemy initiates an attack, you just spend a, a, a lightning resource, an energy resource, and you do two damage to the enemy for free, or for basically for free. But he's part of the little trio down over here. And then you got Iron Fist. Iron Fist, for, he, it costs four. He's got three health, he attacks for two, but when you attack, you remove one of his Mystic Counters, he comes in with two. You can stun an enemy, and then you can deal it one extra damage to it. So what he does is, he will ping one damage, take off a tough, stun the enemy, and then you do two damage from the attack. Really, really good. Um, he is a part of the main strategy. And then you get to the event cards. And this is the reason why we have Brother Voodoo. And it's because, again, um, Captain America has Heroic Strike, right? Heroic Strike does six damage and stuns, correct? And so how many of those do we have in this deck? Well, astonishingly, we've got three in here. Um, this deck comes built with three Heroic Strikes. That's three stuns, right? Then I added in three Tackles. Stun an enemy. If you paid for this using a physical resource, then you do three damage. So this always stuns, but then if you pay for it with a physical, again, Super Soldier Serum, you get to stun them and do three damage. And then three never back downs, right? When you defend it against an attack, you get plus two defense. Remember what I told you before is that he already has two defense, plus one for his shield, plus one for armored vest, so he has four defense already built in with retaliate, plus two defense when you play this. So he's defending for six. That can block most attacks from most villains. And then if he doesn't take any damage, which most of the time he won't, you get to stun the villain. That's more of a, uh, a defensive card than uh, tackle, as tackle is a little more aggressive. So what is the strategy here? Oh, and I have Night Nurse, of course, because she heals one and takes off st uh, stuns and takes off confusion. So these cards work well with Quinn Carrier, right? So Nova, spend a lightning resource. Okay, I got one, Quinn Carrier, because it's a wild resource. I can generate a lightning, 
correct? So Nova does two damage for a Quinn Carrier. Warlock can heal two damage from him with a mental resource. Quinn Carrier takes care of that. Black Widow cancels and counter cards with mental resources. Quinn Carrier takes care of that as well. So that's the little uh, trio that we have going here, and that's its little own little engine, so that's pretty good. And then um, with all that said and done, though, the main strategy is here, and I did the math on this. So um, I've got three Never Back Downs. I've got three Tackles, three Heroic Strikes, Mockingbird who stuns, Brother Voodoo who's able to reach in and grab a Never Back Down, a Tackle, or a Heroic Strike, and Iron Fist who, can, who has two Mystic Counters and can stun for each of those, so he counts as two stuns himself. When you do all the math and you count how many cards you have that stun, and then you, um, you add up the fact that there's 40 cards in the deck, in order, uh, I draw a five card hand every turn, and in order to have a success, uh, one successful outcome, all I need to do is draw one of these cards. When you do the math, there is about a 75 to 80% chance that every single turn, I'm drawing into a heroic strike, a tackle, or a never back down to get that stun off. And in the turns that I don't get one of these cards, if I have Iron Fist sitting out, he can just attack. He literally just sits on the bench most of the time. And then when I finally draw a hand that doesn't have a stun card, then I use Iron, Iron Fist to attack that turn to stun the enemy. And then the enemy stays stunned. When you add up the fact that Iron Fist can sit and he can stun, um, legitimately, this deck stuns like almost 100% of the time. They've done studies, you know, 60% of the time it works every time. That doesn't make sense. And this is why I was able to defeat every single villain, Rhino, Claw, Ultron, the Wrecking Crew, Green Goblin, um, both of them, um, Mutagen formula as well. Um, I was able to do the entire Rise of Red Skull campaign and including Kang as well. Um, and my two toughest matchups, of course, were uh, Zola and um, Ultron. Was it Ultron? No, Mutagen Formula. Ultron? I actually beat Ultron in like 15 minutes. Like it wasn't even hard. With Captain America's Retaliate and Warlock out, I was constantly handling threat. I never, I never even got past the first scheme, which is only like three threat. I never got past the first scheme. So no scheme whatsoever. I was able to get through all of that. And um, the only problems that I got were of course, Green Goblin, because this guy is ridiculous. He basically just keeps giving you encounter cards, and his minions are coming out like crazy, and they're attacking and doing damage. They're the only two that actually were able to like really damage me besides Ultron. So besides um, those three, um, they're the only ones who did damage to me. Zola almost took me out. Like I had three health left on Captain America um, because Zola basically almost did me in. Um, but I was able to get through it because Captain America is just a beast like that. So this deck is amazing. Please um, take it out for a test drive. It's so, so good in solo. So like if you're just frustrated and you're tired of losing, right? Um, if you're tired of losing, you're tired of going out like a punk, play this deck. It's guaranteed wins, man. As long as you play it right and you realize, hey, every turn I'm I need to be playing a stun and prioritize that, the villain can never attack you. He only puts one threat on. Occasionally an encounter card will come out and then you'll be like, oh no, I got an encounter card and I don't know what to do. Uh, Black Widow that junk, right? Like <laughs> Black Widow takes care of every encounter card in, in that deck. And so um, it's a really good deck. I'm gonna actually do a play test with it to show you how good it is. And, and, I, and you know what, I'll step it up to heroic just so we can see what it's like. So enjoy that video.